Welcome back to another episode of Bad Axe Bourbon. I'm Bobby. So what we have here today, I did a little bit of this on Instagram. CK from Rockland Bottle Shop. Shout out CK, you are the man. Was kind enough to give me the rest of this uh, tasting bottle. They had a tasting of this as Westward Whiskey. It is a Westward, Westward Whiskey single malt uh, American whiskey out of uh, Portland, Oregon. Check that out. So I did give it a quick little run through while I was uh, on location temporarily again. Now I'm back off location. Thank goodness. I gave this another shot and I'm gonna do it again right here. I learned a little bit more about Westward Whiskey since then. Some of these bottles here are to help the community. So 100% uh, of proceeds of some of these bottles, and I believe this is one of them, this is all day, every day, right on this, on this little uh, metal part of the label right here. We'll get into that in a minute. It is pretty cool. It's pretty cool. I appreciate the effort on that to help the communities, whether in California, Oregon, or, or wherever. I've seen on the website that's a uh, part of it's in uh, California. I don't know if this specific bottle or not, but I couldn't find what this specific one is for, but it's a pretty cool idea. I do like that. So let me give this a, a quick, quick taste, give you some notes on it and tell you what I think. All right, let's do it. Oh, this is a nice cork pop though. It's a real cork. All right, let's give her a sniff. Oh, man, that is a lot of mint and citrus. A lot. It's almost like a cough drop. And some tobacco. <laughs> Mint, citrus, and tobacco. I don't know if that's a good combo or not. I'll go, I'm going to find out again. I, I remember, I mean, this was only yesterday, day before. I remember not being bad. Not being bad. I didn't think it was off the charts. I remember that, but we're going to find out again, okay? We're going to find out. Now, there are some notes in this thing. I'll tell you that. There's, there's strong flavors. I get a lot of, a lot of citrus. A lot of that tobacco and, and mint. That is, hmm. Well, let, let me go for a sip because there's some strong, strong notes in this sucker right here. Oh, oh, a lot of mint transferred over to the palate. Look. I would say, I mean, don't, I know I, I kind of noticed it now, my face is all jacked up, but it's not because it's bad. It's just the flavors are really pronounced in this thing. Good or bad, I mean, whatever your palate likes, there's a lot of, I mean, I felt like a lot of proof. Look at this sucker right here. 128.1 proof. It's got a lot of proof, and I felt it right there, too. Got a lot of proof in this sucker right here. A lot of proof, but it's got a, a lot of the citrus. I say, I'm not going to say citrus, but I'm going to say like uh, uh, grapefruit. I don't know anyone under the age of 60 that likes that grapefruit taste playing without a lot of sugar on it. I'd have to drown it in any sugar to like that, but I will say that's what I'll equate it to. It's probably just a citrus flavor, but I'm just getting grapefruit. It might be orange or whatever, somebody else, but leathery, a little bit too. It's nice and smooth up front on the tip, but man, that, that grapefruity, taste that nutty taste i don't prefer i mean and it's not going to kill it for everybody 
And this is just me personally. Some people like that Tennessee whiskey flavor. They just do. They like that nutty aspect of that. The Jack Daniels, George Dickel. I don't, I, I wouldn't say that I hate it. I just don't prefer it. If the other flavors dominate over it, overpower it, then I could deal with that a little bit as long as it's not super strong. Like, I mean, Sinatra Select, I don't get any of it in Sinatra Select. I, I say that in a lot of videos. I like that Jack Down Sinatra Select. I have a couple of them. They're delicious. I love them. I like sitting there listening to Frank Sinatra. D. Martin, love it. But this, a lot. Of course, not as much burn now, but this little butt kicker. Get a lot of that, that nutty taste, which I do not prefer, but I know people do prefer it, so I, I can't say it's bad. It's not for me, but I'm, I'm gonna have to go with what I think. It's bad axe bourbon, right? I know this is a whiskey, this is an American whiskey, it's not a bourbon. Although, how's it go? All bourbons are whiskey, but all whiskeys aren't bourbon. I get it. But I'm going to say this Westward Whiskey American Single Malt. I'm going to say, I told you on Instagram I would give it some access. I rate I told you to go from Instagram, come over to YouTube if you want to see a, a, a rating of it in access. I'm going to give this. I'm taking into consideration that nutty note. I'm, I'm trying to discard it because it's got, it does have a lot of flavors that are really nice, really pronounced. I mean, the flavors that are there are there. And you know what? I've said this before too. It might be the proof that's doing it. The proof is 128.1 proof. If that's what's bringing all those flavors out, I like that. I like that a lot. I wish it wouldn't bring out that nutty flavor too. If it didn't bring out that nutty flavor, man, this this could make me bad axe. I don't know, but it, it's really, it's really good. Really good. Just that nutty flavor is gonna bring it down. So it can't be bad axe for me. Can't be bad axe for me. I, I'm gonna give this three. It's above average, above average. I'm gonna give it three and a half axis, all right? Three and a half, 0.5, whatever you wanna say. Three axes and a hatchet. Three and a half axis. Three and a half axis for the Westward Whiskey American Single Malt, all right? Right there. Right there, all right? Gotta get that thumbnail shot in there. So, what I will say also, man, I said this on the Instagram. This is a nice bottle. This is a really cool bottle of Westward Whiskey. And I do enjoy this little metallic part of this label down here. It says single barrel selection, bottle number 91. That's that's pretty cool. Under 100 on the ones out. That's, that's still something about CK too at Rockland Bottle Shop that they were wanting to give him a bottle of this to taste test. That's really cool. All day, every barrel. It says all day, every barrel. Okay, all right. I like that part of the label. Westward whiskey, I think. I don't know if you're trying to be simplistic or not, but the bad part of this, that's a, that looks low budget that label looks low budget that and that it looks low budget especially when you got this down there and that bottle is super cool i don't know if you're trying to bring attention to the bottle or what cork's pretty cool too just that label the label's a little low budget looking 100 bucks for this bottle 99.99 would I pay a hundred bucks for this? This to me is not a hundred dollar whiskey for me. 
Although, if they're using this for charity or the community uh, awareness type of stuff, and 100% of proceeds from some of these bottles go to community to help the community with food and, and things like that. If it is one of those bottles, then okay, it's a hundred bucks because of that. But on its own, on its own, I don't think this is a hundred dollar whiskey on the on the pile for me. For me, because of that nutty aspect. Someone that likes that nutty aspect though, be like, heck yeah, I'm paying a hundred bucks for that. Because like I said, those notes are flying off the chart. That citrus note, that grapefruity, uh, tobacco, leather, a little bit sweet on the tongue. All the notes that are there are really pronounced and well-rounded. But for me, one of those happens to also be that nutty one, which I don't prefer. But someone that does prefer that and prefers, prefers all the rest of them, yeah, this is a winner. They'd, pay, they'd probably pay 100 bucks gladly for that so like i said again for me three and a half axes and thank you ck from rockland bottle shop shout out man thank you with the rest of your projects and stores thank you very much and westward whiskey keep it up westward whiskey i do like what you're doing i do like what you're doing with that being said Thank you for watching this episode. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I've said before, please subscribe. If you're gonna watch it, please subscribe. That helps a lot. I need to get up to those thousand subscribers. And like we say on this channel, sharing good bourbon with friends and family is bad acts. Thanks for watching, I'm Bobby. Till next time.